Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. The Dutch education system is often highly placed in international rankings, but cultural and ethnic segregation remains a major concern. We explore how the Dutch are going about improving results across the board. From Montessori to the Dalton Plan, education in the Netherlands offers a wide variety of teaching approaches. But one man is convinced that modern education is all about the latest technologies. Let's have a look. Here in the Netherlands, when it comes to the education system, there's definitely a wide choice of options available. But some people think there's a lack of real cutting-edge innovation. Children at home are interactively, digital, multimedia, multitasking. And then they go to school and see how it was in the past. And I didn't want to get to bring my daughter every day to a museum under the pretense that we prepare her for the future. Maurice de Hond and a group of volunteers set up the foundation O4NT, or Education for a New Era, which is behind the so-called Steve Jobs schools. You need skills to live nowadays. The children learn that already at home. You, have, you need some skills also for the future, but don't divide it on all kinds of things. Make it a, a, a total uh, concept. But it's not just a question of high tech. Children work at their own pace, moving between classes as and when they like, using iPads loaded with educational apps which put them in control of the learning process. All of a sudden I had an iPad in front of my nose. That's different from a book. At first I thought it was very nice. Then I thought, wow, an iPad. What can I do with it? Then I discovered all the games. But some organisations think that improving teachers' skills is the way to improve the quality of education across the Netherlands. First step for uh, innovation in a Dutch school system is again have the teachers come out of their classrooms and share their knowledge. And then when they look into new, more innovative methods and discuss how to introduce that in their own classroom, that is the second step. Despite small government budgets, Dutch universities are ambitious and eager to compete globally. We visited one of the most prestigious, the Eindhoven University of Technology, to find out how it aims to top the charts. The Eindhoven University of Technology was founded almost 60 years ago in 1956. Learning World went along to meet the Dean, who's very proud of the university's academic achievements. In Holland, we have three big concentrations. It's main port in Amsterdam, a main port in Rotterdam, I have to say. It's airport and the surroundings of Amsterdam. And it's brain port, which is the industrial concentration here in the Eindhoven regions. So this is an area of high-tech systems and high-tech materials and data sciences. We have been ranked as the smartest region in the world uh, a year ago. Uh, we have been ranked now as the third place to be economically interested to do investments. In the Netherlands, um, uh, technical studies were not very popular uh, and now we are trying to change it, but we are running behind on schedule. What we see now is this year is an enormous increase of new uh, students, uh, uh, male and female, that's good news as well. Uh, we will increase by 30%, uh, sciences have become more sexy, and I think it's now in this kind of economical crisis, it's a better insurance for having a job. I think the, the challenges in the future will be that uh, uh, our politics are uh, uh, shutting down all uh, funding for students. Both, both. 
It's a, a worldwide competition. Um, uh, universities always compete on excellency and our fellow universities will not stand still. But there is a good thing about science, it's the only thing you share with another person and you both get richer. This university is best, even better than MIT, in making uh, combined publications between industry and university. So you have a kind of an ecosystem where you are part of and then you try to be best of that in the world. Ethnic and cultural segregation remains a big issue in the Netherlands. Because ethnic minorities tend to live in certain neighborhoods, their children end up in schools dominated by immigrants. We explore how some people are trying to reverse this trend. Many people living in the Netherlands were born in other countries, making Dutch society truly multicultural. But as newcomers to the Netherlands tend to live in certain neighborhoods, some schools tend to be dominated by children born outside the country or whose parents were immigrants. These schools are referred to as black schools. Black schools have more problems, have more violence and trouble. Teachers don't give the kids the same attention as they do at white schools. Uh, there are people in high poverty neighborhoods, whether they're ethnicized as the other or not, uh, who definitely would like to have their kids go to predominantly middle class, if you like, ethno-racially balanced schools, who simply have no way to get their kids into these schools. You have to know how to play the education game. So the idea that there's complete choice in the Netherlands, for example, um, unhampered free choice, uh, is very misleading. For many years, white schools dominated by children born in the Netherlands to Dutch parents were seen as offering a better standard of education. But now that trend is beginning to be reversed. I thought sometimes, isn't it mean and not social towards Turkish and Moroccan mothers from the neighbourhood? Like you're saying to them, you're not good enough. Like you're saying, I want more people of my same background at school. I think that's complicated. The St. Jan school used to be regarded as black, but its reputation has gradually improved thanks to the head teacher. And the school is now mixed, with 392 pupils of 35 different nationalities. For the teachers, it's been a change because if you have one level of children, you teach one level. But here you have to adjust your teaching method. Dan hoef je maar op één niveau en hier betekent dat gewoon dat je moet schakelen als leerkracht ook met de instructie. Yes, there are a lot of different cultures. And when I visit somebody at home, it's really different than at my place. And you hear words from each other. It's nice and cozy together. There are no government level policies for improving the mix in Dutch schools. Well, that's all from us here in Amsterdam. Don't forget to share your opinions and experiences of the Dutch education system on our social media pages. Goodbye for now. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.